This is Ryan Mack. This is Travis Smith. And we're with Operation Hope, and we're standing across the street from the White House at the Treasury Annex. That as of January 7th, because Operation Hope advocated for it, they're going to change the name of this building to the Freeman Bank. Man, how do you feel about that, Travis? Man, I feel great about it. And the fact that it goes with Operation Hope's mission, the first thing that Lincoln wanted to do after he freed the slaves was to teach them about money and to get a bank account. Well, I'll tell you what. You know what? Do you think the people know about the Freedmen's Bank, though? I'm not sure. We should check it out. Let's go ask the people. Is the Freeman's Bank? I am not aware of the Freeman's Bank, but I would like to know more about it. The Freeman Bank was a bank that was created by the U.S. government in around 1865 to help the soldiers of the Civil War and the African Americans to get access to the financial institution. Unfortunately, it crashed in 1874. I do not know what the Freeman's Bank is. Uh, the Freeman Bank was established uh, in the 1800s uh, to, to provide uh, uh, Freeman with uh, a place to deposit their uh, money at that time. And it was supposed to be a bank for the freed slaves. And once they were emancipated, they were going to have their own bank where they would be able to make transactions and learn and start how to build their own wealth. Narelle, so how do you feel about them changing the name of the Treasury Annex to the Freeman's Bank? Well, I think it, it's something that's going to be a little controversial at first, but once people really get the, the premise of why it's being changed, uh, you know, Freeman's Bank, what it represents, what it stands for, and, and how it was originated, I think then, you know, people will get more of a general idea, and then and it'll be supported by more down the line, so I think it will be a good idea. I do think it's significant to change the name. Well, why is that? Why well, I think more people will be familiar with history. You know, from what I know of it now, history, I think a lot of young people will be more familiar, will know more about it. It is very significant. It's a, it's a symbol of pride. It's a symbol of the, the honest folks that helped to build this America, but did not get recognition or, or any type of credit for helping to build this America. Yes, I think that that is very significant. I think that it is very important. As a young woman, as an African-American woman, living in America, going through the school system, there is so much about my heritage that I do not know. It is extremely significant uh, for African Americans to be an inst for institution to be named after us. Uh, one, we are the builders of this country. The sweat equity of Africans globally bankroll all the economical development of the European countries and the Americans. So anything that is named after us to recognize us is highly important. And so also it's at a time where the income disparities among black and white is very, very wide, and the unemployment rate among some of the Africans in this hemisphere is not acceptable. We have cities that have up to 40 to 50 percent unemployment rate among uh, black folks. And some of the youth in some states, Baltimore, New Orleans, have 74 to 75 percent of unemployment. When you're dealing with that level of unemployment, it's from the project to the prison. So we need anything that can encourage us to put our head up, to say we are here, and that we have a bit of history in this country, and that we are part of the history, and actually the Africa is the history of the American. Well, you know, some people knew, some people didn't, and some people were kind of like, eh. Well, I'll tell you what, regardless, I'm glad I'm a part of Operation Hope in these times to make sure that everybody will know from now on that the Freedmen's Bank is an important part of our history, and they'll be proud to celebrate inclusive economics for all of us. Thank you.